Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here with me today. Thank you very much for joining me. Hey, and thank you very much for the PayPal donations and the cups of coffee that have been recently bought for me. I really appreciate it. God bless you. At 1022 a.m. local time, they had another large, well, moderate, small aftershock there by White House, New Jersey. This was a magnitude 2.6. Did you feel it? Evidently, a lot of people did. I would like to know if you had any damage. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5, which means it was felt by most people. Someone had some breakage of dishes, maybe a window, cracks in your plaster, disturbance of tall objects. Check those gas and water lines. There has been uh, dozens of gas leaks uh, and water breaks. The mainstream media isn't covering it. I think they don't want people to know of the danger, don't want people to freak out, so they're not reporting that. The numbers of reports keep rising there on USGS Did You Feel It website. It's up to 607 people. The strongest shaking was there by Hampton Bays, it says. Yeah, they had an intensity level of 5. There was one report, so someone had damage. And it was felt as far as Atlantic City and north towards, let's see here. What do we got? Looks like p past Ruthland, uh, which would be New Hampshire. Let's bring this back out. Most of the reports came from Gladstone. A lot of people don't know uh, that this is an area called the Newark Basin. Let's bring this in. Let me pull this over for you. Drawn out in, let, um, in purple here. That is the Wachung Mountains. This is uh, part of that ancient rift where the United States was going to um, originally separate. And then over here, lots of volcanic activity over here. Lots of basalt. Yeah, lots of lava flows. And that's not too far from where we're having all these earthquakes. But over here, we actually have a volcanic plug from an ancient volcano. That's called the Snake Hill Volcanic Plug. I think it might have been a plug for an ancient volcano. And can you see what's built right on the other side of this um, yeah, basalt rock? You know, we, we got a school. So we got the Hudson County School of Technology. So let me bring this over so you can see it more. And I'll turn around. This um, formation, this plug of a volcano, actually used to be a lot larger. But a lot of the materials uh, was removed back in the day to use for uh, railroads and building roads and foundations for buildings. Things like that. This is all part of what they call the Newark Basin. It's a sediment-filled rift basin located mainly in northern New Jersey, but also stretching into southeastern Pennsylvania and southern New York. And is part of a, a system of eastern North America rift basin. This basin is actually really long. I was doing a lot of research about this rift system. Over here, I got it turned around. This is where all those earthquakes. Yeah, there's lots of uh, basalt lava flows that you can actually walk around on nature walks and, and find and look at. Over here to the west, I got everything turned around. Let me just straighten this out. Okay, that's a Rampopole fault, fault zone drawn out there. The border fault. For this basin is the Rampopo Fault on the western boundary of the basin. This is where the hanging wall of the Garbin slide down to its current position. Um, estimated drops of a depth of a accumulated sediment on the western side is about 11,000 feet. The bed dips roughly at about 15 degrees to the west throughout the basin. The northeastern edge of this basin is roughly by the Hudson River. 
and that's where we got the volcanic plug. Now I've talked about how these ancient rift systems including the New Madrid rift system has been reactivated because of the uh, weakening of our magnetic field. During that time crustal stretching and thin thinning continued basalt magma rose up and erupted in three separate volcanic eruptions each producing a thick layer of volcanic rock. So the lava flows formed long linear ridges. Uh, the three Wachung Mountains and the Palisade Sills. Those all formed on the west side of the Hudson River. And that's where we got that volcanic plug. Drawn out in red here is some other fault lines that I've found in the past um, from previous earthquake studies that I was doing. So this whole area is all sediment filled, which means earthquakes can travel at a great distance. It looks like the seismic wave when it hit the bedrock, um, the seismic waves have been moving eastward. Yeah, 48 earthquakes that USGS is reporting since Friday. Um, did you feel this latest 2.6? Let me know. Put your information down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you again for your donations. God bless you. As always, be safe, be prepared. Check that water and gas lines. Have a tool so you can turn them off. Keep that handy. And please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.